Blessings, everyone. So this is Prophetess K. I want to come back and answer a question. Someone asked me, how did I start speaking in tongues and what was my experience? So I want to talk about this from a biblical perspective and just share with you guys. And I pray that at the end of this teaching, someone that may not have got filled their heavenly language, that they be filled in the name of Jesus. I just feel his presence and I just feel an anointing in my belly even now. And I just pray that God release his anointing, his anointing on this broadcast with the evidence of speaking other tongues in the name of Jesus. All right. So a little bit about my story. I'm going to testify first, then I'm going to get into the scriptures. But I remember I was in sin. I was in sin. And I remember I was on my way to go to the strip club and I got in this crazy car accident. And I remember after that, I just didn't want to strip anymore. I didn't want to be in sin. So before that accident, my sister had just got saved and she gave me a Bible and she started having like people come over to the house and they was doing Bible studies and I would just run. It was like, Kimberly, come to the Bible study. I was just like, I'm not going. And I would just run out the house, sneak out the house and hurry up, you know, before they could say anything, just run out the house. And my sister gave me this Bible. I had it in my car for two weeks. I drove around with this Bible in my car. So the night I got in this crazy car accident, the firefighter was looking at the car, shaking his head and looking at me. And he picked up this Bible and said, here, young lady, here I am. He said, here, young lady, this saved your life. And he handed me um, the Bible. It was a, an intense car accident. Um, my four-door sedan got smushed in. The back end was smushed in. Credit cards were scattered all across the road. I had an eyebrow piercing that popped off. I had braces at the time. My brace, the rubber bands on my braces popped off. Uh, CDs scattered all across the highway, credit cards. It was just, it was a mess. And I was severely hurt after that. I went, I had to go to the chiropractor for six months because I had whiplash. I couldn't even turn my neck. And I had crazy back pain. My back pain was just out of this world. It was hurting so bad. But anyways, in that time, I knew that I was here because of God. I knew that I survived because God had something to do with it because God kept me. So I went down to the club, cleaned up my locker, never looked back. So maybe when I was able, like I think I went to my chiropractor appointment and maybe a week after the accident, I went to this lady's house. She was like a leader or an elder in the church. She would come over to my parents' house and do Bible studies and she invited me. She said, here, Kimberly, come over to my house and for a Bible study. I didn't know what was on the other side of that Bible study. I was like, okay, let me go. And at this time I, I wasn't in church. I didn't really even have a relationship with God at the time, to be honest, but I just knew that God was ordering my steps. So she invited me to her house, maybe a week after the car accident. And I was still in a lot of pain, but I remember just sitting at the table when she started reading Acts chapter 2. Started going over how the Holy Spirit came like clothes of fire, how the disciples were up in the upper room, and how they were speaking in tongues when the Holy Ghost came upon them. And they started speaking, and everybody outside of the room thought the guys were drunk, like, what is going on? And Apostle Peter stood up, and he began to say, hey, this is what the prophet Joel prophesied and told us about. So after this lady began to tell me about the book of Acts, I started to feel the presence of God so strong. I started feeling tears come in my eyes and I tried to fight back the tears, but I couldn't control the tears because God was just moving on me in such a powerful way. And she took her hand, and she put her hand on my forehead and out of my mouth just erupted this language, this foreign, this foreign language. Rama, Russia, it was just like this deep. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop. And I began to speak this language. I'm like, and I was just crying. And I think I spoke it like maybe five minutes straight. It's like my tongue. It was just, I could feel my tongue. I didn't know, understand. I had my eyes closed. Her head was on my head. 
and um crazy like i had whiplash but when god was on me i was able to bend my neck back you know it was crazy i couldn't do it without him on me because i was in pain but my head went back some and my thing didn't hurt and i was wearing a neck brace just to let you know i was wearing a brace on my neck for for a hot minute i could actually feel my tongue just da -da 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 -da. it was like flapping in my mouth i couldn't control my tongue my tongue was just like going back and forth just flapping really hard and after that i just felt peace i felt good i felt clean in the inside then she said kimberly come to church sunday morning and get baptized so i went to church i believe i rededicated my life on that sunday morning i got baptized went down in the water came straight up speaking in other tongues yeah da, 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 da. It's just like i couldn't control it and i was like Am I speaking Arabic or like Hebrew? It's, it's like a different tongue. Like, am I speaking a foreign language? Like, what is this? And it was so beautiful. And I remember, like, from that moment on, I went home and I started singing in tongues, like songs. And I would say, Yashua, Yashua. I would hear myself singing, Yadadadashi, Yashua, like in the spirit tongues i can't i can't do it when i try to do it but i can only do it when the holy spirit's like flowing through me and i'm just singing these songs and i would hear myself say yashua yashua you know or i would i was and i didn't know that was like another name for jesus you know i'm singing like what is yashua you know i didn't know at the time such a baby in christ that was another name i'm like wow my tongues are singing praises to god and I, I didn't hear anybody around me else singing in songs. That was just like me and a God thing, me and a private thing that I had in my prayer closet. So I would shut the door and I would just sing in songs for hours. So that is my story of how I got filled. And I promise you, speaking in tongues, singing in songs for hours, I started hearing God. And God started dealing with me. I didn't have language for what was happening to me. Um, I had to go to church and learn about the Bible, the basics of the Bible, baptism and all this stuff. And it, it has been a journey. It has been a journey. Even when I sinned, I had backslid in 2012. I, I could still speak in tongues because the gifts of God are irrevocable. But when I got my life back on track with God, started speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues every day, every day. It has been life changing. So I want to talk a little bit about tongues in scripture. Okay, so the first time we see about tongues, we see in the day of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2. And they were up in the upper room. In Acts 2, 4, it says they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterances. Utterances. That is so powerful. And the men on the outside of the room... In Acts 2, 11, they said, we can hear them declaring the wonders of God in their own tongues. So when you read Acts 2, you see several different languages there. And that, that's so supernatural when you think about the gift of discerning of tongues. You can actually discern what they're saying. Okay, some other instances. Cornelius' household, they had a move of God. You know, Jesus came first to the Jews, then to the Gentiles after the Jews rejected him. So the Holy Spirit moved upon the Gentiles and they spoke in tongues. Peter had this dream. God said, don't call what I call clean, unclean and go to Cornelius, a devout believer's house. And the Holy Spirit moved and the Holy Spirit fell down. His spirit fell down. And sometimes when the Holy Spirit gets on you so strong, your body reacts. Sometimes people tremble. Sometimes people fall back, get slain in the spirit. Sometimes they begin to speak with other tongues. Also in Acts 19, verses 1 through 6, Apostle Paul laid hands on people and they received the Holy Ghost and they spoke with tongues. They spoke in tongues. Like the lady, the church lady, she laid hands on me and I began to speak in tongues. The Bible talks about the gift of tongues in 1 Corinthians 12. Through 14 and he breaks that down to one god gave the working of miracles 
another prophecy, another the discerning of spirits, another one, diverse kinds of tongues, tongue interpretation. And the Bible also tells us in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 2, that when we speak tongues, we're not speaking unto men, we're actually speaking unto God, we're speaking mysteries unto God. Very powerful. So when we speak in tongues, we're allowing the Holy Spirit to make intercession through us. We're making these perfect prayers of faith and the enemy can't discern what we're saying. And the Holy Spirit knows how to pray for us perfectly. Amen. So I just wanted to share my experience. Let me know your experience of when you spoke in tongues in the comments. Let me know how it was for you. And if you are believing to speak in tongues, let me just pray for you. Father, and just lift your hands up with me. Father, I pray right now for anyone watching this broadcast that desires their heavenly language, God, that your presence will fall upon them so strongly, God, that they can speak tongues with other utterances, Father God, and that, Lord, that it can be filled with your Holy Spirit. God, I thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, just come upon them. Give them peace. Proud your spirit in such a powerful way. In Jesus' name, amen. So it is so, you guys. It is so. Just begin to praise God right now. Amen. And ask the Lord. God, fill my mouth up. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't overthink it. Just let them. Ah, I feel his presence. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And God, I just thank you. Just that someone that's going to watch this broadcast will feel your presence come upon them in such a powerful way. And they will get filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking to other tongues. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If this bless you, go ahead and share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.